Holy crap, you guys, what an intro. I mean, like, something about serial killers. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm already scared. Alright, so hi guys, um, welcome to something really different um, on this channel. I'm going to be doing a blind walkthrough of uh, Clock Tower 3. I've never played this game before, you guys know that I've played Clock Tower, the Super Nintendo one. And I am pretty freaking uh, nervous already because that looks pretty crazy. <laughs> now I know this game is a lot different from the uh, the Super Nintendo one because it's not a point and click. It's actually a um, it's actually a oh good I want subtitles on for sure. All right, it is actually a walk around. There are bosses in this game from what I've been told. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of a little nervous. Sorry, right, I'm just going to go through the settings real quick because, like I said, never seen this before. I'm pretty sure that I don't need to deal with this, and I'm pretty sure I don't need to deal with this. I think this should look fine to me. Looks fine on my monitor. So we're, <laughs> we're ready to go here. All right, um, I'm going to please uh, say here, and I know that you guys are going to need this, and I know that you're going to spoil things anyway, but please try and avoid saying anything about this game unless it's something that's already happened in the video that you're watching. All right, uh, let's go. Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please, do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa! You're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me. <laughs> Mum? I'm back. Excuse me, are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! Okay, so I wanted to be quiet during that so I could pay attention to what was going on. Um, oh god. 
Um, so I guess she... Her mom told her to go into hiding, so she came home, which sounds absolutely retarded. Um, and there's a creepy guy here who wants to rape her. Um, other than that, I have no idea what's going on at all right now. What does that arrow mean? I have no clue. So I'm going to just wander around in this creepy place. There's a fire. Maybe the arrow's just when it clears off. I, it's kind of... can't really tell what I can look at and what I can't. Unlike, like, Silent Hill. See, she's not, like, looking at the thing. So I... I guess I'll just... I, like, it's a mansion. Like, why... I, I can't, like, the thing I can't understand is, like, why in these games do they go into mansions? Like, her mom told her to, to go into hiding, so she came here. Which doesn't make any sense to me. She's stupid. You're stupid. Alyssa. And her name is Alyssa, too. What's up with that? Okay. With an incomplete end. Okay, so this is a way... So there's game saves in this game, which is pretty helpful. Let's just save the game already. Sh sure, let's save. Okay. Whoa. This is... That was the longest anything's ever taken to save that I've ever played.